Francia. Fresh Kumari Kitchen. Guys, this is my kitchen garden. This is my kitchen garden. This is where I get my fresh Kumari You have to remove them at the bottom. Coming up. This is my Kumari Yeah, I want to cook fresh green vegetable from my kitchen garden. So guys, excuse me because my garden look a little bit messy. You can see the weeds are competing with the the cowpea and the skumawiki because I've been away and not even I was I've been away, you know. When I came back from I've been having like a, a back pain yes I have a back pain so the doctor told me not to to bed a lot so you can see how my cowpea they are turning yellow in color because they are competing from nutrient and uh, oxygen yes you can see the yeah even my skumawiki my kales are turning you can see this one the color has changed. Mm -hmm. So this is my skumawi. So these bad ones, you have to remove them and throw them down. So guys, I know you're wondering why are these people using mosquito net as a fence to protect the chicken from entering my farm. So I'll just take you around. So I'll explain why my farm looks like this. I'll be having a back pencil. This is a spring onion. Guys, the only thing that I'm going to buy today, the only thing that I'm going to buy today is tomato and cooking oil. But for green, this is a spring onion. The only thing I'm going to buy today is tomato. So guys, I even have how do you call it? spinach? fresh spinach from my farm yeah so this is my farm let me take you around you can see my maize and then over here guys you can see i have a what mm, pumpkin leaf so guys here in kenya we use pumpkin leaves as a vegetable or maybe you'll use it to cook there is a traditional food from kikuyu called mokimo yes it's like a mashed potato you mix it with pumpkin leaf Yes, I think I have that video. Go and check all my videos and see that video. So there's a pumpkin leaf. Over here you can see my maize. Guys, I think tomorrow I must weed. Tomorrow I must weed. Yeah. So today Yes, so my people, I need to weed. I need to weed this. That is my sister over there. She is camera shy. Uh, she don't want to say hi to you guys. So guys, this is our skumawiki. Right now we are going to prepare it for lunch. Guys, look at this side. You know, I... I uprooted the weeds by my hand, not using a jembe. Watching this video, please drop a comment and tell me what you think. And you can even advise me what I need to do and then 
Tell me at the comment section where are you watching me from? Yeah. So guys, this this containers yellow in color, you can see them over here. This is where I store my water. Then I'll come at the evening and water my my farm. But the good thing now is that Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to yet another video. If you're new here, I am Maureen G2. To my dear subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch my videos until the end. So, if you're clicking for the first time, take it and subscribe, like and come, like and comment. So, on today's video, today I'm going to prepare skuma wiki with spinach plus cowpea, and then we have spring onions. Yeah, so stay tuned, watch this video until the end. So, this is my time. I think tomorrow I'll weed. It needs to be weeded. Over there, I have some maize. The maize are doing well. They are growing so well. You can see how the their leaves is so green. So let's start. <laughs> So my people, you can see how they are very healthy. Yeah, this one we call it cowpea, but we call it kunde. In our language, we call it bo. Let me just move. I do some weeding as I. Guys, how do you call removing them from their stem or doing what, my people? Please comment. Drop a comment in the comment section. Guys, at the same time, I am weeding. weeding using my arms. Today, I don't have a djembe. Hey, guys, look how my spring onion is very healthy. Come here, Wendy. My kuma wiking using fresh spring onion This one is called a spider plant. my spring onion look guys I was in Bongoma last week 
as I, I was walking at night at the town, the town is so, so big and very, it's very busy, very busy at night compared to Nairobi. Yeah, so the best thing about you, Bungoma, they have a lot of vegetable, this green vegetable, they have cassava, guys, they have onions, they have coconut, and then you know there is this big, big trailer, they have a lot of trailer passing by, so I think the business is flowing, because they have the they have goodies that come from Uganda to Kenya. Yes, even oil. You can see big lorries along the way carrying, carrying products. Yeah, so that's all about. this year it has been too good to me by the way i've gained a lot of subscribers now i am at 1570 of which it's not easy you know guys when i was starting my youtube channel i thought that it was an a walk in the park <laughs> but little did i know that you have like to put a lot of energy you need to push yes i remember calling one of the youtubers from Nyabuanze telling them yeah that hey, this thing is not easy hmm? maybe I'll give up and then he told me you're not supposed you've already signed in when you started this YouTube channel you're not supposed to like very like how can I put it you cannot turn back because you have already started it so I've been pushing I thank God. So I will encourage someone who would like to join this club or who wanted to, like, to open a, a YouTube channel, go for it. Yes, maybe in your side you may, you may find it smoothly. But on my side I thought that it was a walk in the park. But not really. You have like to do, to do your best. You need to push. So my people, you know, right now what is going on, my kales and cowpea are doing very, very well. But my spinach, let me show you this one. You can see they are turning yellow in color. 
I think they don't like a lot of water, but on Saturday I think I'll go and talk to, I'll go to the Agrovet, yes, to ask, ask, ask them what can I do? Why are they turning yellow in color? Yeah, so stay tuned, watch this video until the end. Okay, this type, I have two types of kales here in my farm. So this one guys, it's very, it's very hard compared to the other one. Let me show you the stem. It's very hard. And this one is very soft, very, very soft. But the good thing about the second one is that it gives you like roots. If you want to plant, let me show you. But I, I don't, I don't think if it will grow. So guys, let me tell you about, this is the second kale. The best thing about this one, it will give you like seeds to plant. So if you want to plant, just pluck it at this point like this. After that, let me just try and plant it over here. I think I'll, I'll water it at the evening. Yeah, so this is the best thing about this second kale. You just, it have a lot of seeds. But the other one, it will not give you a lot of seeds just like this one. You can see. Look how I have seeds. Yeah. So these are my spinach. They fear rain. They don't like a lot of water, so they're turning yellow in color. And just, yeah. You see? I think these are enough. So guys, thank you very much if you watch until this part. I really appreciate. I really, really appreciate. I don't take this for granted. In fact, I'm very happy. Like right now I'm at uh, 1,570, which it, it's not easy. It's because of you guys, because of you. I have 1,570. Please give me thumbs up. I really appreciate. I really, really appreciate. Okay, guys, this type. I don't know. Guys, what is the name of this plant? We call it terere. So, guys, we call it terere, but the other name is amarantha. It's so sweet, so so sweet. But me, I cook it, use it. I mix it with cowpea. Yes, cowpea. My spinach. Thank you for watching. Let me show you. I have a tomato. Still germinating, but it has got no seeds. No seeds, but you can see the flowers. Thank you for watching until the end. Choose, choose. Bye. See how I'm a very lucky girl. A lucky farmer. So I'm going to have this for lunch. But the good thing about, like right now, the presence of the goodies, like the green vegetable, Irish potato, onion as shoot up, has gone up. So I'm very lucky. You know this one I'm going to.